Alright friends, so we have our basic markup and styles and we even made it more accessible because if you tab through the to-do list, it works as expected. So we can tab through the list and that's awesome. And we can also check the to-do item and of course we don't have the effect yet because we haven't implemented it yet and we can see here is the button that's going to remove the to-do. But another thing I want to mention is that we basically completed some of the checklists from the item without even trying because since we're using a form we can use enter to submit it we have autofocus working even though it's discouraged and another thing i wanted to mention is that you can ignore the autofocus if you include the svelte ignore a11y autofocus and you can also ignore other eslint rules like that inside the swell template so let's continue further with showing a list of to do's so we can have some dummy data to work with right so inside to do Svelte, we're going to add a script tag if we go to the top say script let's add language typescript and then we're going to have our state right which is going to be to do's and if you're not familiar with TypeScript, don't worry, you can just ignore this, but I'm going to try to explain it. Yes, yeah, so we're going to have an array of some of the to-dos. So let's just copy that over because there's really no point in us typing that out because it's tedious, right? Yeah, so we can do this and we can see the first one completed is true. So we can just render it to the screen and see if it works. But yeah, so we're going to add the types uh, later. So we're just going to use this as the dummy data and loop over the to-do items. So if we go here, yeah, we just have to go to the list. And then we can say for each to do's, s to do, give it a unique ID. It's going to be to do ID. And then we're going to go to the end and going to close our each. And that's awesome. So let's see, before we continue, we're just going to find where the checkbox is. And here is our first input with the checkbox. This is going to see if the to-do is completed or not. So we can add a value of checked and we can use the to-do completed. And for the placeholder, we don't need it anymore. We can use the one from to-do text because you can see this corresponds to to-dos and each has a text and completed and also an ID that we can use. So yeah, this complaining because it should be to-do and I think that's it. We can save it, see if it works. And awesome, we can see the first one is completed as it should be and then it's adding the others. And now we have some simple dummy data we can use to test things further. So if we go back and scroll down a bit, we still have the types to create. You can skip this if you're not using TypeScript. So yeah, let's create the types in source. Let's say types slash to do TS. And then we're just going to use an interface. Uh, let's go to use the naming convention I to do because the name might clash. So you can say text string completed. That should be a Boolean. User TypeScript is simple, but library offer TypeScript is another game. Uh, let's not talk about it. <laughs> okay, so we can go to the top. And if we see here in the example, here's where I imported the styles. So we can say import type. It's going to be i to do from, we should get auto complete from types, right? Types to do. And then to use the type, we already have great auto completion from VS Code and TypeScript being built in, if you didn't know. So for example, since this is an object, uh, our editor already inferred the type. So for example, if you hovered over to do we can see it already knows what this is. It says ID text completed, and it's saying that this is an array of that type. So that's already awesome. But to be safe, we can say I to do, and see it's complaining because I to do is just a single item. If you want to say that it's an array, we can say, the brackets void like this or we can even say array i to do and these are the scary uh, angle brackets everyone is afraid of of typescript and he's like oh no typescript no no please no please typescript no uh, it's not bad guys okay <laughs> let's just say i to do and awesome that's it